Hello everyone, for some reason I didn't come on mic for a second. But today I'm going to show you how to make your own Hypercam 2-ish water, like, like the whole, um, heart right, like, Hypercam 2-ish thing. Like the effect it had on your computer. Like when recording, and you, like, view it on, like, the AVI file or whatever you used at the time to record it. I'm going to show you how to make that on, a uh, VLC player. Now, obviously... <laughs> Obviously, this is like a work in progress because I just found this idea. I'm pausing this real quick. I want to use this. I'm going to use this video. Uh, I'm going to use this picture from my DVD that I have as an example, the reference point. So, what you do is that you go to Tools, and there'll be a thing called Effects and Filters, or you can just press Ctrl and E. What you do next is you go to Colors. You go to video effects and then you go to colors and then you check the posterize button, which makes it look like which make which pretty much makes it look like this, which has this little effect where they make like more contrast thing. Like me, more like contrast. And you can if you really want to, you can use like image adjust, but I'm I'm not using that because I messed it up badly. Now what you if you really want like a bad image, you can kinda use a little sharpen effect here. Like obviously not this, but like around there because it'll give you like this whole um like it'll give you that little sense you know, like. but if you don't want that that's okay and again this is a I just found this right now oh. anyways what you would do next is that you would go to advance uh, if you can't see it just like use the little arrows to like move your mouse Use, uh, put anti-flickering on, and then check it all the way up to, um, to the soften point. If you, if you go to the of it, it's not really a good example here, but the idea, if you can, if you can see what's going on here, it, what it does, it usually has, like, effect like that, in a way, and went too far here, that little effect, where, um, it just anti flickers and for some reason it has like that little motion blur effect. Very effect. Now if you really wanted to, you could use motion effect if you really wanted to, but you have to get to that like right point where the color may make sense. Now and if you really want to go if you really want to go any further, you can use us you can if you can use this correctly, you could like make a you can make like an old AVI video using a special towel blur and make it look like a low quality video, which has been like, if, like advanced to actual HD. And um, that that's my only thing for this. Now I haven't thought of anything for sound effects. Yet. have an effect thing for like um to have an old quality little sound for at least um the video the one I can tell I well, I'm only using specializer I haven't used a great like equalizer and compressor if I uh, maybe I can if I if I can use a uh, compressor like actually it could actually turn out like the uh, old stuff for me. I think you would have to um, go to like a program like Audacity or something to get that old um, quality little audio. My battery, my uh, right now my, my computer is messing up, so I'm just with problems with that. And, uh, I guess if you use Sharpen again, it looks like that. It's good. And in case you don't, in case you can't find Hypercam for like your first time, I mean, it's a, it's a good way to just do that. 
you the only thing is that you'll probably have to add like a hypercam 2 watermark if you really want that experience of having that unregistered hypercam 2 thing or even uh, unregistered hypercam 3 has a sort of problem where it has like a anti-flicker system that's like way too anti-flickerish and I'm, I'm pretty sure you could change these settings so this is what most people used back then in 2009 so well, that's all and I guess this is just my little tutorial on how you can make VLC media player very much just hypercam too. Now, uh, again, before before you use this, I don't know if this is convincing at all, because I just had this idea pop in my head like maybe not even five minutes ago, and I, I just I just thought of something really quick. So this this video could get an update sooner than later. Right now, this is my uh, tutorial on how you can make it like that, and um, you just take off posterize and anti flickering, and that's just like normal. So, without further ado, uh, thank you for watching, and um, I hope I hope I uh, if I hope if this actually works in terms of, like the way it's quality, like the way it is, I, I hope it works like that. In fact, if you really want, you can use this uh, tutorial. And then you can use actual hypercam too. Anyways, I've been um, I've been pretty much filling a video for like one more minute. But um, anyways, I guess I'll just see you later. Bye.